morning, Seahawks. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021, Paranormal Day, and ASB is celebrating Intergalactic Space Week. Watch the broadcast closely and see if you can count the exact number of baby Yodas like this one in our broadcast. Good luck, Seahawks! Good morning, Silverhawks. Thanks for tuning in to our broadcast. Today we are celebrating Paranormal Day and ASB is celebrating Intergalactic Space Week and Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Each year on May 3rd, National Paranormal Day, people who believe in paranormal activities are encouraged to get together and share their experiences with each other. Paranormal is a term used to describe occurrences that can't be explained by ordinary scientific measures. They are outside the norm. Many words leap to mind when speaking of the paranormal. Ghosts, hauntings, spirits, or poltergeists, to name a few. However, extraterrestrial and clairvoyance also fall into the category too. Have you ever felt a sense of deja vu? Some people believe the feeling is related to paranormal. Even those who don't believe in the paranormal can participate in the day. There are a wide variety of movies, documentaries, science fiction books, and television shows specializing in this genre. Here are the administrators with a special announcement for the special week. Good morning, Silverhawks. I don't know if you realized it, but this is a very special week, and let me tell you why. It is Teacher Appreciation Week. And not only, yes, woohoo, we have amazing teachers. Not only are we celebrating our amazing teachers, but our entire amazing staff. So teachers, this is a quick message for you. Thank you so much for all of your hard work this year. It has not been an easy year and wow, you guys have been amazing. I know your students appreciate you so much and we don't get to say it enough, but thank you. We appreciate you and you make El Vista amazing. All of our staff that helps support our teachers and works here up in the office, our amazing counseling team, thank you for all of your hard work as well. Um, our team is so incredible because of the amazing work that each person does and how we always work together. So thank you. We want to celebrate you all week and you guys are rock stars. So happy teacher and staff appreciation week. We love you. And I just want to add in that all of your hard work, all of the perseverance, all of the diligence that you guys have done in trying a new thing, trying a new um, you know, online format, you guys are amazing. And like Amy said, you guys are what make Villa Vesta the most amazing school. And you are so appreciated. And we know that we don't say it to you enough. I am so blessed to work alongside of you every day. Thank you. And for me, there's lots of platitudes that, that I could share, but I mean, essentially what it comes down to is, you know, pressure makes diamonds, as they've said. Um, this was one of the most pressure field experiences that I've ever had in my entire life, especially for the prolonged period of time. And when we went into it, I had no doubt in my mind at all that you guys could pull this off. Um, my only concern was what toll it would take on you and you guys have weathered that. So, uh, you've been an inspiration to so many, um, not only to, to myself, but, but, I, but again, I can say to so many, uh, that I've spoken with, you guys killed it. Um, we're almost through this thing. We're going to get through this thing. And re I really appreciate just having the opportunity to, to be a part of what you guys do. So thank you very much. Thank you, team. Have a wonderful week. We appreciate you. Seventh grade students, if you would like to be a TA next year in place of your Explore It class, check your email for the TA form. Just fill it out and submit it. Teachers will approve the TAs directly on the form. The TA form will also be on the counseling website and our Canvas page. Please email your counsel if you have any questions. Here are the recipients of Hawkeye Awards for last week. Online or in cohort, there are a ton of activities you can
can participate in FEMAMS. Here are the club activities available for this week. On Monday, the Silver Hacks Rider Club meets at 3 p.m. On Tuesday, the GameCube and Science Olympiad Clubs meet at 3 p.m. On Wednesday, during break, ASB is presenting a live space theme activity in the quad that will also be available on Zoom. Also on Wednesday, during lunch, the Stromney Club and Ukulele Club meet. At 3 p.m., the Switch Club meets. On Thursday, during lunch, the Origami Club will meet. Also on Thursday, the Mindfulness Club will resume at 2.45. At 3 p.m., the BSU and the D&D and the Procrastination Clubs will meet. On Friday, our ASB is presenting a live space-themed activity, which will also be available online. As part of Intergalactic Week, ASB is sponsoring a Where's Baby Yoda contest. Get connected and get involved, Silverhawks. This week is Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. There are three ways to show your appreciation for all the hard work your teachers and the school staff have put in under these difficult circumstances this year. First, send a teacher or staff member an email letting them know you recognize all the hard work they do for you every day. Second, you could send them a shout out through BVMS Canvas Connections. Third, you could record a Flipgrid thank you in the Flipgrid link on Canvas Connections. In Mrs. Ford's science class, students took part in the Battling Beetles Lab as part of the unit covering the theory of natural selection. Students learned that Darwin and Wallace independently developed the theory of natural selection based on their observations of organisms found in their travels around the world. The Battling Beetles Lab exemplifies this theory. Here are the recipients of the April Students of the Month Awards. Are you going to be in seventh grade next year? It's not too late to learn an instrument. Join the award-winning BVMS band and be a part of a great group of students. Here is what you need to know. Are you incredibly bored and looking to spice up your seventh grade years? Why, yes, actually. Yes, I am. Oh, how fabulous. I've got just the thing for you. Really? What's that? Why band, of course, you silly little silly monkey. <laughs> Mildly offended, you just called me a silly monkey, but I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll go with it. What's band and why should I join? That's a great question, friend. Band is...
the study and practice of music, which sounds boring. It's actually fabulous because we get to go in a giant group of friends and learn to play an instrument and you get to play wonderful pop songs sometimes and you get to perform in front of people but if that's not your thing we also go to Disneyland which is a great way to spice up your seventh or eighth grade year oh my gosh this might make up for all that I've missed out during COVID <laughs> Nothing will ever make up for that loss, but band might help be your solace in this. Well, it's a great world, but it's a little bit upsetting that we got to miss out on all these years. But band is really fun, and there's no need to miss out on that. Join band. You might like it. You might hate it. You'll probably like it. I can't make any promises, but it'll probably be great. Huh. Uh, that's a great question, friend. For more information, email Mr. Wood at swood1 at tvsd.us. Here's the word for the day. The word of the day. According to ContonsDictionary.com, paranormal is an event or power that has an appearance of a ghost. That was the word of the day. ASB has a ton of activities this week as we celebrate Intergalactic Space Week. Tuesday is May 4th. Wear Star Wars attire or yellow, black, or white. GameCube will have a Star Wars-themed Kahoot challenge with prizes. On Wednesday, May 5th, is Revenge of the Fifth. Wear black, red, or gray. Thursday, celebrate Alien Day. Wear green and join ASB in the quad or online for an alien scavenger hunt. May 7th is International Space Station Day. Wear your NASA gear or NASA colors. Here's a fun fact for the day. Fun fact for the day. According to kids.kittle.co, people believe that ghosts stay on Earth if they need to do something or say bye to their loved ones. That was the spooky fun fact for the day. Students in Mrs. Casey's social studies classes were learning how population density can impact a society. Let's take a look. Students made and compared models of the population densities of the United States, Australia, and Japan. Students at home were encouraged to participate by having a piece of paper, scissors, and 25 small objects like beans, cereal, or M&Ms to work along with the on-campus cohort. Put one object. If you're at home, put one object. If you're in class, put one bean. Remember, each bean represents 10 million people on, on Australia. So, so Tommy, we're going to put it on this that we've turned down. So put it right there. Put him somewhere. The continent slash country of Australia. Compare that to the United States and how many people we have there. Hurt. Super. Yeah. And why is that? Why do you think this, the, the Australians are feeling? All right. It's slightly smaller, which is why we trimmed it down from the United States. It's not three and a half million square miles. It's slightly under three million square miles. Say it's 2.9. So it's slightly smaller than the United States, but far fewer people live there. So most Australians choose to live on the coast where it's more comfortable and they have lots of room. Here's the question of the day. Question of the day. How many ghosts are there in Disneyland's Haunted Mansion? A, 
one hundred, B five hundred, C nine hundred, and D one thousand. According to OCRegister.com, there's about one thousand ghosts in the haunted mansion. The question of the day. There are several flip grades available for you to participate in. So we have a Hawk Central S, the eighth grade end of the year video, college and career, talent, pets, crafts, and more. In honor of Paranormal Day, Sorok Central asked some of the students if they believed in ghosts. Students answered on a flip grid. This is what they had to say. Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I do not believe in ghosts. Hi, Silverhawks. My name is Christian, and I do believe in ghosts. Hi, my name is Sabrina, and I do not believe in ghosts. Hi, my name is Tiana, and I don't believe in ghosts. Bye. Hi, my name is Avery, and I believe in ghosts. Have a good day, Mr. Day, Silverhawks. Hi, my name is Bonnie, and I do not believe in ghosts. Don't forget that you can purchase your yearbook at the Hawk Shop Store or at Justin.com. Don't miss out on having a way to save the memories from this remarkable year. Here's the College of the Week. use class students were presenting their animal research projects to the class in Mrs. Hughes science class students became experts on an animal or organism endemic to Madagascar in order to learn how physical and behavior traits allow it to survive in its environment. Animals including their physical traits, food, sources, and habitat. Then they taught the rest of the class about their animal via Flipgrid or in person in class. Each week, ASB has a mystery staff member contest. Here's the answer for last week's staff member. Congratulations to those students who participated in the contest and correctly identified Mrs. Summers as our mystery staff member. Here are the new clues for this week's mystery staff member.
this is on BVMS Canvas Connections and tune into Silver Rock Central next week for the answer. Good luck, Silver Rocks. That's our broadcast for the week. Have a great paranormal day. Intergalactic Space Week. Thanks for watching this edition of Zero Hawk Central. The audio selection was N4P13R by one of our own Zero Hawks, Owen Pondavia. We'd also like to thank Ms. Davison, Ms. Casey, Mrs. Ford, Ms. Hughes, Mr. Wood, and the PE staff for their contributions to this production. The producer was Grayson. The exclusive producer were Chloe, Jordan, Emily, and Cassidy. This has been Zero Hawk Central Production. I'm your announcer, Grayson. If you are keeping count, there are eight baby Yodas hidden in this broadcast. Have a great intergalactic space week, Sarah Hawks.